This weekend marks the four-year anniversary of the historic derecho that tore through eastern Iowa. It was the most expensive thunderstorm in U.S. history, and sadly, it also killed three Iowans. In an I-9 investigation, KCRG TV9's Rebecca Vaughn found damage from those high winds can still be seen today. One business on the northeast side of Cedar Rapids rebuilt from the derecho less than, in less than a year. But right next door, a warehouse that still looks the same way it did immediately following the storm. August 10th will be four years since the historic 2020 derecho pulled down the walls and tore off the roof of Wired Production Group. We're hearing everything howling and crashing noises. And I'm looking up at the ceiling where there's an air conditioner vent and all of a sudden I can tell, I, I see that I see sky. Eric Frazee was one of the few inside the building when the storm hit. It was pretty nerve wracking to ride that thing out sitting in the, in the server room thinking, okay, it's, it's a tornado. You know, and only later did we, you know, learn that it was under HO. It was less than a year before the business was back up and running. We had a little over $2 million or pretty close to $2 million in replacing the building. And then we had maybe about four and a half million in equipment that was lost. And another quarter of a million dollars worth of vehicle damages. So pretty substantial for a small company. Right next door is a building that hasn't been touched since the derecho hit. The roof on the large warehouse is still peeled back from the winds. They moved out shortly, obviously, right after that happened and relocated somewhere. And so far, we haven't seen much work being done on the building, and it's been four years. So Records from the city of Cedar Rapids show it's been trying to get the building repaired or demolished since 2022. JKW Enterprises owns the building. I called the registered agent who said a dispute with the insurance company has postponed any work on the property. The city was taking the matter to court when the company declared bankruptcy. So it sits. And now there's a for sale sign out front. It's not something I'd want to go through again. Um, it, was, it was scary. It was really scary. The city of Cedar Rapids said it's in contact with potential buyers for that property. But until the bankruptcy proceedings are finished, the property will stay in limbo. Live in the studio, Rebecca Vaughn, KCRG, TV9 News. Thank you.